Greetings all. Um, just another little uh, helpful video. Uh, mostly this is for me because I have to do this on a few more machines. But if it helps anybody, um, then this is good news. So I have Mac and on my Mac I have Parallels. And I tried to upgrade my Windows 7 to Windows 10. Um, and it is a genuine copy and it is activated. Um, however, um, when you go to the uh, Windows, uh, get Windows 10, um, you end up with uh, this as a result. And it um, says over here that the um, WDDM uh, graphics adapter um, has issues. Now, I guess this is going to happen to all uh, Parallels uh, users if they want to upgrade. So I've um, done some research and the next place you need to visit is here which is the Parallels website and they have a workaround for this and um, it's relatively straightforward. I'll put a link into this but in, in essence um, you have to work out if you're a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system and you download um, this particular um, file and uh, it only opens up as a Windows based file so you'll still need to be in your Windows 7 uh, and once you've got it running you'll be getting this so it's now downloading the Windows um, program and um, hopefully this will install now I have also done something else which is I'll include this link it's a direct link to the Windows download site which allows you to do an ISO copy of the um, Windows 10 and then that gets or you can double click that and that will get recognized by Parallels and put it into a new virtual window however upon loading this um, I found that it wouldn't accept my serial number and the normal thing in Windows 7 with Parallels is you always had to phone up if you had any issues um, Windows and get it validated. Uh, it looks like there might not be a way to do this in Windows 10. Um, however, um, I'm hoping that this will sort it out. Now, one of the things to be aware of when you're downloading this, because um, I wasn't aware of this, is the size and the space you have left um, in your Windows virtual machine. And I think I only had something like four gigs left um, so I was deleting stuff like a crazy person but it still wasn't working um, so I had to allocate some more space now uh, if you need help allocating more space then um, let me know but if you uh, go into parallels and just do a search I'm pretty sure that that will be giving you the information there but again let me know uh, and if so I'll do a little short video on how to um, do this you just have to go into the configurations when Windows is not running um, and then you can reconfigure uh, your space providing you actually have any left on your hard drive that is right well um, what I'll do is um, because this is probably going to take the best part of an hour um, I think it's about three or four gigs I will come back a bit later and keep you informed as to what's happening. Alright, speak soon. Welcome back. <clears throat> as you can see, two and a half hours later, um, it's uh, basically there. Uh, so it has installed. The process uh, by which it does this is just basically a standard install. Um, it gives you the option to leave your files behind or do a fresh clean install. So you might want to take that opportunity to um, get rid of everything if it's not that um, valid. Um, otherwise, it appears that it's all working. Um, there is only one thing I think there could be a problem with, and um, that is coherence view. It doesn't appear to be working. Um, with Windows 10. Um, I'm going to do some research and um, I'm going to come back and uh, let you know whether or not this is an issue that's being worked on. Okay, I'm just going to pause it for now. 
Right, welcome back. Um, I've done some more research and my uh, Windows is now working in coherence mode. And what I had to do was reload tools. So if you go into parallels um, and then you go into, let's see, where is it? Uh, I think it was actions. Yep, there we go. Um, and reinstall parallel tools. Uh, after I did this and then restarted the um, Windows 10, it, it all started to work again as per normal. Um, you will also have a um, situation where the name of your Windows 7 um, previous um, OS will still be lurking uh, when you want to log on. Now the way to change this is straightforward. You close down Windows and then you go into um, Configure and the first page here that will open up under General um, this will now become available to edit so you just type in whatever you want to call it up here and that um, should be it. You close it down um, and it will remember what it's called and that will take you um, into a full working uh, unit in coherence so if I do view so I can exit coherence um, and all the other bits and pieces seem to work right so uh, that was a little bit long we did um, however um, basically this is the way that you put uh, the uh, Windows 10 onto your existing copy of Windows 7 or 8.1 um, if you're running parallels. Well, again, um, I hope it's um, done some good for somebody. It um, certainly got, got me uh, the answers that I needed. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Alrighty, speak to you soon. Goodbye.